The following video takes through the Ballistic Measurement System Software version 2. The new and improved software is faster and easier to use than ever. Software uses an exercise template system for fast data collection and analysis. The templates available currently are counter movement jump, concentric only jump, drop jump, and isometric. You can also use select none to have no templates enabled. The counter movement temp jump template can be seen in action here. So as the athlete completes the jump, the eccentric phase, the concentric phase, and the flight phase are all automatically determined. In a concentric only jump, in this case we're going to do a squat jump, you can see that after data collection we have the concentric phase and the flight phase automatically detected. We move on to the drop jump template. Go in, we select calculate for force, reverse integrate, show phases, and automatically determine phases. Perform the exercise. Once the exercise is completed, we can simply zoom in on a flat portion of the graph to determine the mass. Click set mass. Zoom back out. And we can see the eccentric phase the concentric phase and the flight phase. Now we have the isometric exercise. In this case, it's a mid-thigh pull. So we want to select from the start of the exercise to peak force. In this example, we need to move the start of the exercise due to movement after completion. So we click and drag, and now we have the whole sample collected. We can easily move these starting and ending points for the phases. Here we can see a counter movement jump with a bit of movement for the exercise. We simply click, drag, and then left click to lock the starting point back in place. The new BMS software allows for rapid analysis of data straight to an Excel file. We do this by going to our results tab, selecting the data we want to output, in this case peak force, centric time, concentric time, centric plus concentric, flight time and flight to contract ratio. We then go in and click sec select data file. In this case we're going to analyse the data file full of counter movement jumps, so we open that folder. Click on the first trial and go back to dashboard. We can then view our phases and if we're happy with them, click save results. This will open up an Excel spreadsheet. I'll just quickly expand these out so they're all clearly visible. We go back to our dashboard and click the arrow button to go to the next trial in the folder. If you have with results again, just click save results. Next file, here we can see there's a bit of movement for the jump, so we're just going to move that start of that phase to the beginning of the exercise. Click save results. Next file, happy with the positioning of those, save results. Next file. Happy with those positions, click Save Results. Next file again, happy with the start position of all those, click Save Results. And that's the last one in the folder, and there you can see all of the trials automatically saved out to Excel.